Open up flow field 1 start. Place the agents in the scene. And if you're on the simulation, you see that these agents move around pretty randomly. We can use flow fields to give the agents some direction. So let's begin by going up to edit, flow field. Here we have three options that we can use. We'll edit spline, points, and add gaps to the flow field. So let's create the flow field by using the spline tool. Click on add, and then start clicking on the train. If you need to delete points, you can use the escape key. Once you're finished, use the right mouse button to complete. Now let's make this flow field a bit wider and clearer for us to see. If we play the simulation again, you can see that the agents are not responding to the flow field. What we need to do is bait the flow field into the terrain as the agents read the value out of the alpha channel and not directly from the spline. So let's click apply and play the simulation again. Let's see, the agents are now beginning to go around the flow field. If we want to keep the agents in the flow field, we can use edge angle. And you can see the edges just angle in towards the flow field. You can use edge width to widen the effect or make it narrower. Alternatively, you can have the indicators angle outwards if you want agents running at the edges to leave the flow field. If you need to adjust the spline, use the point editor. Then hold down shift and then click the points to move. When you finish editing, we need to bake the new flow field onto the terrain again. So let's go and click on Apply. And see the agents are reacting to the new flow field. We could also add gaps to the flow field. So let's just click. You can notice the indicators are going around the gap. You can increase the radius and increase the weight. If you want to save the flow field, first you need to save the terrain map. As this is where the flow field has been baked to. And then you can save the setup. As this is with where we saved the actual flow field.